Hello everybody! Welcome back to Virtual Sunday School. It's me, Rima Chichi here and I miss you guys so very much. Um, here's another week where I have to come to you through your cell phone or your, your mom and daddy's cell phones or your laptops or computers. Um, and I can't wait for the day that I get to see all of you guys in person. And so Chi Chi and I talk about you guys all the time and how much we miss you guys and how much we can't wait to see you guys and give all of you guys a very, very big squeeze and a big hug and, and very, very sloppy kisses, okay? So we're going to learn about a really cool story from the Bible today. It's about Jesus and a miracle that he performed. And to help me um, explain the story a little better, I have a special guest. You'll meet him in just a second. Um, but I just want to remind you guys before that, make sure you send in your memory verses. Me and Sarah Chase are listening to them every Sunday. And we're so proud of you for learning them and um, sending in the videos every week, okay? I love you guys. All right, we're going to go into the lesson shortly. Welcome. Whoa! What's up, Rima Chichi? What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing today? <laughs> we're good, we're good. So, think about for a moment mm -hmm. about something great God did in your life. Okay. Can you share that with us? Hmm, something great. Wow. God has done so many great things in my life. What do I talk about? Okay, 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 I got one, I got one, I got one. So, the other day, right, it was about 10 p.m. And I was sleeping in my bed. Or I was trying to sleep, I should say. And I finally fell asleep. And as I was sleeping, this crazy feeling came over me. And I was starting to feel very scared. I had no idea what was going on, but I almost felt like there was somebody watching me. Oh, no. Yeah, so I... Just woke up out of my sleep, completely scared, not knowing what to do, sweat falling off my head and completely scared. And I just thought for a second, hmm, maybe I should just pray real quick. So guess what I did? I closed my eyes and I prayed to God. And out of nowhere, just like that, the feeling of fear and whatever anxiety I had going on in myself was just gone. And God had took that away. So wow. that's a story where God was so amazing and he helped me out and he did me a solid. Wow, Rejo. So just like Rejo Chacha just shared, to Lord Jesus is Lord of the entire universe. It's okay? true, it's true. That means he's God and he's in control of everything. Jesus cares about each and every one of us. Mm -hmm, like he mm -hmm. answered Rejo Chacha's prayer when he was really afraid. So we can go to Re uh, Jesus, not Rejo Chacha, to Jesus anytime we're afraid no matter Correct. what the cause of the fear is okay and we can know that jesus will take care of us and comfort us because jesus is our leader and he's our king amen okay <laughs> so jesus has proven himself to be faithful and true someone we can always trust in every time of need mm -hmm. so just like how regent Tartu was afraid when he had that nightmare and that feeling as he was about to fall asleep who else has felt afraid raise your hand if you've ever felt afraid right so the bible tells us that god wants to protect us and keep us safe even when we're scared and anxious mm -hmm. which is just another way of saying that if you're worried or afraid okay so let's see what scared or worried or anxious looks like hmm. okay okay so Rijo chacha mm -hmm. can you give me your best scared face um oh gosh i'm not good at this okay okay i'll try i'll try that's 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 a really good one. That's Pretty really good, right? Okay, give me a, your best anxious face. Like you're about to take a really hard test and you don't know any of the answers. That's awesome. Wow. Slow thank clap you, for Rejo Chacha. Next one, a worried face. Can you give me a worried face? Oh, look at him. He's so worried, you guys. So God wants us, or God wants to take away those scared and worried looks oh, wow. and give you calm and peaceful faces, okay? Now everybody take a deep breath. Breathe out through your mouth. Make sure there's no one near you, six feet, okay? And then keep, give us your most peaceful and calm face. You look great, Rejo Jojo. Just the way, just that way, God wants you to look 
peaceful and calm and be peaceful and calm all the time. That's awesome, Mima Chi. And you can look that way by believing that God will never leave you, mm -hmm. even when things are really, really scary. Okay? Promises in God's word tells us that God will never ever leave us. Okay? Never, ever. So we have a little chant. It's a verse from the Bible that we're going to say when we're Ooh. afraid. Okay? So listen to my lead and then repeat each line after me. You're going to say, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For I am with you always. For I am with you always. Cast all your anxieties. Cast all your anxieties. On me, for I care for you. On me, for I care for you. Let's do it one more time. Okay. You ready? Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For I am with you. For I am with you. Cast all your anxiety. Cast all your anxieties. On me, for I care for you. On me, for I care for you. Wow, I like okay, that. So I like that's what that. Jesus is saying to us. Okay. You won't ever have to be afraid because Jesus is always with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he wants us to cast all our worries, all our anxieties, all our fears on him because he can take over and he cares for you and he will make sure nothing happens mm -hmm. to you. Okay? Yep. All right. Thank you, Rija Chacha, for stopping You're by You're welcome. Today. No problem. <laughs> See you, kiddos. Bye. Okay, let's get into the story for today. Okay, you guys ready? All right, here goes. One night, after a long day of preaching to the people, Jesus decided to get into a fishing boat with his disciples and go across the sea to the other side. Okay, leaving the crowd behind, Jesus and his friends got into the boat. When they had sailed to the middle of the sea, a storm began to kick up waves. The boat rocked back and forth, up and down over the waves, and the storm grew louder and stronger and more furious. Jesus had fallen asleep almost as soon as he got into the boat and the boat left the shore. And even though right now the sea was tossing the boat around, he was still asleep. But his disciples were beginning to get really afraid. They tried to lower the sail and throw out the anchor, but nothing worked. They took buckets of water, tried to take the water out of the boat and put it back into the sea, but the storm still raged and the boat was close to sinking. Finally, they couldn't stand it any longer. So Jesus was still sound asleep, so they woke him up. They said, Jesus, don't you care if we drown? With that, Jesus stood up in the boat and he faced the storm and the sea and he shouted, Quiet, be still. The storm died down immediately and the waves grew calm and the boat that Jesus was on stopped sinking. Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, and they were standing there soaking wet with fear. Okay, and he said to them, why are you so afraid? Didn't you believe that I could take care of you? The disciples were no longer scared. They were amazed. They turned to each other and asked, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him? What a story, you guys. Okay, this story really happened to Jesus and his disciples years ago, just like it was written in the Bible. Okay, and imagine what an exciting day that must have been for the disciples. First, they were out um, spreading the gospel, preaching to everybody about Jesus and all the miracles that he had done. And then to be caught in a terrible storm in the middle of the sea. And then for Jesus to take control of the weather and calm the sea with just his voice and just his words. Okay, so just like how Jesus was there, for the disciples and as soon as the disciples called on jesus jesus stood up and calmed the storm just like he did that he can do that for each and every single one of us okay just like you heard from rijo chacha earlier and how he was afraid when he was sleeping and how he felt really scared and he knew he felt like someone was watching him and it was a really bad nightmare but he he prayed to jesus really quickly and that feeling went away Okay, just like that, and just like how Jesus rescued the disciples, if we are to put all our worries and all our fears and all our anxieties on God, He can take them for us, okay, and give us peace and understanding and calmness so we don't have to worry about a thing. So I'm just going to pray real quick, and that will end Sunday school for today, okay? All right. 
Heavenly Father, we come before you, Jesus, to thank you for your mercies, to thank you for your goodness, and thank you for your love that you constantly show us, oh, Father God. Thank you for helping us um, learn about you today and the story about you and how you perform miracles and how you saved the disciples from the storm when they were really afraid of Father God. And pray for um, all my kids, oh, Father God. I pray that when they're afraid and as they grow up and their fears get bigger, I pray that you are with them every step of the way and that you give them the guidance and heart to reach to you, to turn to you anytime they are afraid and that you answer their prayers and you take away their fears and anxieties and they're able to completely depend on you for any... Um, thing that they may face in their future and in their lives oh father god i thank you for sending your son jesus to die on the cross for our sins oh father god and and i pray that we all get to heaven and that we all get to be together with you jesus celebrating you and worshiping you master i pray that you keep us all safe our families our church and that i pray that we are all able to see each other soon and um, worship you together oh father god i surrender all things at your feet in jesus name i pray amen bye you guys